What's up guys, welcome to a new video. So in this one, we're going to be looking at why people actually buy on Facebook and how to pick the right products that will actually sell. There's too many people out there right now just picking completely random products on AliExpress and then wasting hundreds of pounds on Facebook ads and not seeing any results. When in reality, when it comes to picking products, there is a logic and a method behind doing so to make sure that you pick the right ones. And that's what we're going to be looking at in this video today. Before we jump into it then, if you do enjoy the video, please do make sure you hit that like button. Please do make sure you subscribe and as always I do read every single comment so if there's a question you guys want to ask me just simply post it down below and I will get back to you. With that being said thanks for tuning in I hope you guys enjoy this one and let's jump straight into it. So why do people actually buy on Facebook and how to pick products that will actually sell? This is a keynote I've exported into a PDF format so if you guys want to get your own copy of it for 100% free head down into the video description below and it'll be the first link at the very top. When it comes to picking products then it's really important you actually understand and the why behind somebody would actually buy something. Instead of just picking products at random and going through product after product, trial after error, wasting hundreds of pounds and time, if you understand the why behind why somebody would actually buy something, then it puts you at an extreme advantage for two main reasons. Number one is when it comes to product research. If you understand why somebody would buy a certain product, then certain products that you see on AliExpress or Sell the Trend or whatever software you're using will stand out more to you. And this will obviously lead to you picking the right products more often, which in turn will save you a lot of time and money. The second main reason is when it comes to marketing. Again, if you understand why somebody would buy a certain product, then your ads are gonna be more successful, more profitable, and again that will turn into saving you time and saving you money. To give you an example of this then if we just take a random product of say a backseat cover for a dog owner they don't buy that product because it's a nice product and it looks good they buy it for a certain reason and that certain reason is it's going to save them money and it's going to save their back seats getting destroyed there's a specific reason why somebody would buy that product and when you know that reason then you can take that into account when creating your ad creative. So you wouldn't just have a single image of a backseat car cover. The most effective way to market products like that would be showing a really wet and muddy dog jumping into the back of somebody's car, but their seats being adequately protected by that product. And it just clearly kind of sells the product a lot more effectively. And that's because you understand the benefit of that product and why somebody would actually buy it. And once you understand the why then and you become more effective at picking the right products and more effective when it comes to marketing, then obviously overall this leads to long-term success. The next point to consider as well when you're picking your products is to think why somebody would take notice of your product. And ultimately this comes down to connection. The connection your product has with its audience is one of the most important things, if not the most important things that you can consider and take into account. Let's give you an example then. Over on the left here we have our customer and they own a French Bulldog and on the right then here are two products both that you can source on AliExpress and if we had to take a guess at which one this customer this audience is most likely to notice even though both products are aimed at dog owners because one is more specific and relevant and has that connection with the audience with this particular customer then of course it's going to be the t-shirt that has the French Bulldogs on the product on the right has thousands of orders on AliExpress. It's not a bad product. It's a requirement pretty much for every dog owner. They need dog leads. However, when it comes to advertising on social media, then you're not just competing against other products like you would do on say Amazon or eBay, but you're competing for your customers, your audiences, attention because obviously when somebody's on Facebook it's not just going to be your post that they see they're going to see posts from the pages they follow the meme pages posts from their friends etc so this is why it's really important especially so much on Facebook that you pick products that are really specific to a certain niche to a certain audience something else you must consider when picking products is you have to ask yourself whether the products that you're going to pick would be considered an impulse buy what an impulse buy is a purchase that somebody does doesn't plan to make and the reason it's important that your products fall into this category is because people don't go onto Facebook to look for things to buy they go onto Facebook to socialize so when they see a product that they have to buy they're not necessarily in that buying mood so unless it falls into that category of an impulse buy the chance that your customer aren't going to buy it for example if you try and drop ship say furniture or sofas on Facebook people don't tend to impulse buy those products they don't tend to come across a sofa one day randomly and then just buy it there and then they tend to kind of give it some thought um, maybe look at a few different shops etc whereas if you sell a product that's much cheaper than 
than this, say 30, 40 pounds, and they really like the look of it, they're much more likely to buy that product there and then as soon as they see it versus something that's really expensive. And this is actually one of the first categories that I would use to determine whether you could consider something an impulse buy. So obviously the cheaper the better, the less money somebody has to spend, the more likely they are to spend it but don't go too cheap obviously you still need to make a profit so make sure you keep at least 15 pound room for your facebook cost per acquisition example if a product costs you five pound delivered to your customer make sure you can retail it for at least 20 pounds so at least that 15 pounds of room for your facebook marketing cost overall make sure you sell products i would say under 50 pounds now i'm not saying you can't be successful selling products more expensive than this however the more expensive you go the lower your conversion rate is going to be the more money you'll have to spend on making your store look professional you'll probably have to spend a little bit more money on retargeting ads as well so if you do just want to go for those cheap products that people buy there and then then just make sure you stick to the criteria you see on the screens now the next category is connection which i've already briefly touched on so obviously the stronger the better the more specific it is to your audience the more likely they are to notice it and therefore buy it um, and a way to do this then is to combine interests so print on demand is really good for this because you can create specific designs for certain niches of people so you, you could have a t-shirt that says i love dogs and wine and then you can target people or target those interests on facebook and that's what i mean by combining interests what is also true is that the stronger connection your audience has with your product then the more expensive you can sell it for basically to give you an example of why this is true then if we have two customers one owns a dog the other doesn't and you try and sell a dog lead to both of those people the person who owns a dog is obviously much more likely to buy that product because they have a connection to it the third category is scarcity so if you have a really strong offer for example you're offering a really big discount or there's limited stock of your product then by using scarcity you can increase increase the chances of somebody buying it there and there for that fear of missing out on the offer or the fact that the products could go out of stock. There are of course many other ways to pick products. Um, number one is emotionally. It's a known fact then within the sales world. If you read pretty much any sales book or watch any sales video on YouTube, everybody will tell you that people or humans buy they buy with their emotions and then they justify the purchases with logic and these are products then that make a customer feel an emotion so it could be joy happiness excited etc and just giving some examples of these products then on the left this is a bestseller for blue crate which is a proven seven figure drop shipping store it's a print on demand product where you can put your own face your friend's face onto one of kind of like these mini me cushions the second product this pug in like a royal outfit is from a website called pour on crate it's actually a website I'm going to be reviewing and kind of going over in a YouTube video in a couple of days. Um, and then the third product, again, is a proven seven-figure product. So I've featured this in past videos, which is like a belt buckle which flips out that you can put your beer in. Now, obviously, all three of these products were probably put in front of the right audience would make them smile, make them think of their friends, tag their friends. So these are all great examples then of emotional products. The second type of products which you can sell on Facebook that are also really effective are problem-solving products. And the bigger the problem you solve for somebody, then the more people will want it. Let's give you some examples examples then of problem solving products now these aren't just random products these are all products which are featured in past videos or I'll be talking about in the future which have proven sales records we have phone holders for a bike so when people are obviously out cycling exercising especially this time of year especially since we're coming into cycling season now then a big problem for cyclists is what they do with their phone so by a product like this is obviously just perfect for them second thing as well is this LED light mobility walking stick it also has a grabber on the end which is just perfect for elderly people who can't get around as well um, unassisted and then the third product again this is featured in the past video this product alone has done over seven figures and it's just a charging dock for three different Apple products not everybody has say three plugs next to their bed but with something like this they only need one and they can still charge all three of those products um, in one go Moving on to the third and final one, which I'm going to cover in this video, there are many more. Perhaps I'll expand on this in the future in a part two. I'm not quite sure yet. Depends if you guys enjoy this video or not. If you are enjoying this video, please do make sure you let me know by hitting that like button or leave some sort of comment down below. Um, so anyway, back to the video. Number three is trending. The easiest products to sell are always products that are currently in demand. If you think of certain products that have gone through crazy trends that pretty much anybody could make money if they were selling. So... The first thing that kind of come to mind was fidget spinners. Everybody went crazy. The whole world was buying those at one point. 
Um, but there are other products, obviously. There are smaller trends that you can still capitalize on. And you can use Google Trends or AliExpress Dropshipping Center to check. Uh, me personally, and one of the product research softwares I do recommend to people is Sell the Trend. Um, I am partnered with them, so if you do want to get a free trial, just make sure you head down into the video description below. But to give you an example then of a couple of different products on the left here using Google Trends, I have put exercise bands into the search term, and we can see that it is on a crazy spike in popularity, obviously due to the current lockdown. Down. And then to the right is a screenshot from the AliExpress Dropshipping Center product analysis. This is it's quite small in fact, I should have made that bigger. But they're basically bands that you put around like your thighs when you're doing certain movements like squats or hip thrusts, um, just to help with the development of your quads or your hamstrings. And these have been doing really well recently as well. With that being said then guys, I think that pretty much just wraps up the video. So thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Make sure you check out my free eBooks as well. They're 100% free. There will be a link to them in the video description below. And for everybody looking for a full mentorship and training program then, a lot of people don't know, I run um, something called the Ecom Academy that comes with tons of tons of different content and support networks. It also includes my full um, guidance and support as well. So if that does sound like something that might interest you, again, there will be a link in the video description below. With that being said, thanks very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.